stop dribbling like this. If you want to get past Diamond, dribbling is essential. Yet, 90% of people have no clue how to set it up properly in ranked. So here are the top three biggest dribbling mistakes I see at the lower ranks with fixes that I guarantee will crush in your ranked games. Mistake number one, dribbling in straight lines. It's natural to want to just put the ball in your car and gun straight down the middle of the field towards the center of your opponent's net. The problem is when you dribble in straight lines, you make it harder to see opponents that might challenge you and you give yourself less time to set up before they early challenge you. So instead, whenever you get the ball, you want to make your first touch on an angle away from your opponent and try to dribble slightly away from the net rather than right down the center. This will make it so you have more time to flick, more visibility of your opponent, you don't get early challenged, and after you finish the flick, you won't be landing dead in the middle of your opponent's net. Mistake number two, going for flicks every time. If you find yourself getting dunked a lot, the worst thing you can do is try to repeatedly set up flicks. The problem with setting up flicks is that if your car control isn't perfect, it's going to take some time to actually settle the ball on your car. During this time, you're basically inviting the opponent to early challenge, especially if you've shown this is what you do every time. Instead, if you catch your opponent early challenging you a ton, you can literally just single jump to pop it up or double jump to send it flying over an early challenger. Finally, mistake number three, going for carries every single time. Most lower ranked players think the only way to dribble is to put the ball on your car. And this is, of course, massively wrong. Yes, carrying the ball is good if your opponent's applying pressure. That way you're ready to flick. But at the lower ranks, you might find your opponents playing goalie too often. And in these cases, shots are going to be much better. The way I like to think about it is flicks work good against shadowers and bounce dribbles and shots work good against goalies. So before you actually set up your dribble, take a look at where your opponent is. And if they're not close, don't put the ball in your car. Instead, just dribble on angles. And if they ever try to challenge you, you could simply swoop around the ball and power slide cut to beat them way more consistently than a flick ever would. As a bonus, if I ever notice the opponent has lost momentum and they're kind of sitting still on the goal line, I'll pop the ball up and go for an air dribble bump because if your opponent isn't moving quickly, it'll be impossible for them to defend a quick pop and a bump. Point is, if you could just use these three things to change how you're dribbling, you could score twice as many goals without having to learn anything new when it comes to mechanics. Join the Discord down below if you want more free training resources or if you're gold through champ ranked watching right now my coaching program that specializes in taking players like you up to gc has just five days left of overflow enrollment we sold out 100 of 100 seats for this upcoming launch but i know a few of you have still been sending in so if you want to get involved before we shut down until may dm me with the keyword shut and i'll make sure to get back to you before we shut down once again the discord is completely free first link down below and as always thanks for watching